right. Straps up, ready to move. <laughs> And uh, good day and good morning, and uh, let me give you an official first bump. Yeah, yeah. I'm working you well. Yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. We can't, we can't do the handshake thing anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Different times out here now. <laughs> yes, yeah. I should have. Uh, when I when I read about that first uh, Corona in China, I should have already bought some masks. You're gonna make some money out of that. To make some... Oh, you want to stockpile the masks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I can't export it now, yeah. <laughs> And I, don't the, yeah. I, I, I read that the lady in the Cape Town with Mike's itself, they yeah. sold 700,000 just in this week now. There's guys in Africa that, remember, they, they, there's, there's not really in Africa that makes itself and you can't import it from China. Right. And then there was a guy in, uh, I think it's John, uh, Ghana, that asked for 5 million of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they but the most are not effective in stopping it. That's the weird part about yeah. this whole situation. It's only to like is to stop yourself transmitting it. Mm. But um, hey, you know we just landed on something, and uh, so my my name is Neil Green, right? And uh, I'm gonna need you to introduce yourself. I'll tell you why. Me on the interviewing side, I don't like like I could have done a whole lot of research and come with all these facts about it. But I like to meet somebody from the perspective of there's a listener right there, there's somebody now watching this for the first time. How do you introduce yourself to people like me? Oh, well, I'm uh, <laughs> so I'm Etienne right. Reineke. Um, I used to play a, a bit of rugby. I played for the Lions, uh, Saracens. Uh -huh. I played in Ireland for Connacht and in France for Paul. Oh, yeah, that's um, quite the CV there. When you say <laughs> a little bit of rugby. <laughs> yeah, I came back. Um, I played a bit for Super Sports. Um, yeah, started uh, one or two businesses. Um, and then in 2008, I had a, I had a stroke, so you know, kind of humbled my my oh, life yeah. a little bit. Can I just um, ask, like, you, your stroke now came from from nowhere? Did you? Yeah, I, no. It's uh, the lifestyle was probably a bit too hard, uh, uh, too hard. Um, uh -huh. You know, a bit of stress, right. you know, work. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not probably not eating as well, but I should have. Right. Um, just I probably trained a little bit too hard, and and I could just it, it happened. You know, trained the night, the next morning again, right. didn't sleep enough. Uh, enough. Um, Got a shot uh, on the on the neck. Yeah, and, and that's a bit of things. And I left it. Um, okay. And uh, if I went earlier to a uh, to hospital, they could have done something. Yeah, and from oh, there now, yeah. obviously, one side of my brain was a bit, uh, was almost a bit retarded, you can say. And uh, I got yeah. a fissure, so I had to learn to to read and, and speak and all of those things. Um, so now imagine you've, you've worked your whole life, you watch yourself into a situation, and then all of a sudden. You have to relearn something like reading. Yeah, that's the big thing. Like you know, while I was playing rugby, you know, I was in university. I did my chemistry and biochemistry. Right. I had my master in law in the UK. You know, and my grandma, grandma was my big thing and stuff. And now my 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 daughter, she's now well, then she was nine, right. ten. She she had to read something for me and, and you oh, know yeah. speak for me and everything. So yeah, it's uh, you know you get humbled in in life. But you have to, nobody feels sorry for yourself. You have to go on with it, my man. No, because That's now, thing. you've carried, I mean, we're sitting here now, we're doing an interview, and today you, you know, we say the soul of a fighter, you literally fighting. Yeah. <laughs> like, you've gone past accepting, and you've gone past dealing with it, and you're literally fighting now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> people, people go like, why? And I'm like, why not? You know, I'm getting old now. You know, you don't want to go, oh, maybe I should have had a couple of more fights. And you just, just do you know while I'm while I can still do it, and it's almost like a second co uh, chance, you know. Almost oh, like for that. sure. Um, but yeah, it's uh, oh, it's, it's fun. So let's find out about the fighting, right? Because now you do mixed martial arts. How is that different? Like, like speaking from the perspective of someone, I'm a bit familiar. I grew up in the in the Chuck and Tito era of like, you know, like when everything became glamorous, and you know, I used to watch a bit of boxing. How yeah. different is it to like? For example, boxing or yeah, yeah. karate or any other kind of yeah, traditional so sport. Like I'm fighting now in a couple of hours now. Um, yes. I'm fighting a guy that's you know he's a good boxer. Okay. Um, for me, I'm I'm uh, more of a wrestler, like a, a lot of pro guy, oh, the, pro the guys crap. last year. Yeah, right. Um, so I have to work around his hands. You know, it uh, doesn't mean well I can't use my hands, yeah. but I would rather to take him to the ground. So uh, MMA, like they say, it's. Uh, uh, a fix, uh, uh, mixed mix on uh, odds. Right. So, so you must use your boxing. You have your kickboxing. You have to 
take wrestling to go take a guy to the ground then you have to do your grappling, grappling or with BJJ. So you have to use everything to, to beat your, to beat your opponent. Uh, yeah. So let me ask you: Is there elements of it, like of where there's research? Because you're saying you're fighting a guy now that mm. he tends to be a traditional boxer. Mm. So now when you get ready for a fight, you say, right? Because I know this guy's gonna be trying to hit me. Mm. I'm gonna use these techniques to try and get him off his game. Yeah, hundred percent. But uh, you know, especially when the guys are, are pro fighters. Yes. You know, for for a camp, which could be three months right they they would focus just on that guy and how would they how they will fight against that guy so a lot of time a guy gets an injury and they say okay well why don't they just fight somebody fight else and go like no but i haven't <laughs> i'm ready to fight no, this I guy planned for that. but this yeah. is a bit different for this one yeah. fight uh, yesterday yeah adele um <laughs> <laughs> you fight uh, yesterday then you fight today again and if i and if i win then i'll fight to tomorrow again Okay. So you don't really have a lot of time to... To you know, adjust to tactics now. Oh, oh man. man. That's a bit scary all. though, right? No. Yeah. And now, about, on the topic of fighting, I want to ask, when we watch a fight, it's quite aggressive. But is there an aggressive element? Would you, would you say that overall it's aggressive or more competitive? Is yeah. It? You know, the thing people, I think, they, especially people when they see, and that the problem said with the, the word that was used a couple of years ago when they said, uh, a cage, cage fight. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's and it's an ugly word. You right. know, it's ugly, and, and that's not what it is. It's MMA, and it's a. Uh, because uh, cage fight makes it sound like it's yes, animal. Yes, it's but stick, it's not like, like that. Yeah. You know, and a lot of guys like that, that does MMA. It's the same with guy that he was probably a boxer or a, a wrestler. So There's guys that's got a lot of discipline. Discipline, right? You know, and, and what goes in once you. It's the same with rugby. Once you got on the field. Yes. You, uh, once you come out, you know, so you're a gentleman. Uh, um, and we can get along yeah. and be friends and we're Yeah, and okay, you hit each other, but rugby is actually more violent. You just say, because it's, from... it's collision and you use your whole body, like, you know, so and that's, that's collisions. I never thought about that. Yeah, you know, rugby is very collision, uh, my man, very violent. Very, very, very violent. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I played at like high school level and yeah. it was a lot for me, you know? And if you think about it, in MMA, and I've got a big problem with that, and if you fight, if it looks like I'm beating a guy, they stop it. You know, if a guy oh, looks yeah, yeah, yes, yes, But yes. in rugby, these, even pro, never yes. mind even school rugby, guys get knocked out, and then I say, okay, uh, go for 12, 10 minutes to go see if you're right, and a lot of guys come back onto the, uh, mm. do you do that in MMA? Mm, exactly, no, you don't come no. back or boxing. Once you know, we see, right, this guy's not see. okay now. So con concussion is not taking serious in, in rugby yet. Telling you that. You, you know, you're talking about concussion, and there's this, this Will Smith movie, the yeah. one about concussion, that literally changed the way professional sports look at concussions now. Oh, yeah. And I think we, we're still finding out so much about this because they say that a lot of it you can't even pick up at the time. So, what you're saying to me has really got me thinking differently now because I always looked at like fighting as, as the more dangerous of the two, but you're right, like it could be just as dangerous as well. I got to either write. Uh, for two proteins that you test for concussion. Yes. Um, yeah, well, I get chemistry and biochemistry when I was at university. And I picked it up through just, you know, re re uh, reading on, on some medical uh, med uh, magazines and stuff. And then I went to San Diego. Um, I went to go see a biomarker uh, uh, company right. that they, they got the right to test for these uh, um, proteins um, and what basically they do is this once you think you've got a, con a concussion right they they test your blood and they, if, if those two proteins is a g shape uh, if those G-shap show up one yeah right. an ACD, uh, acdl then they uh, then you know you've got a concussion okay but the problem is it's still that was through I, what i said what i want to do is i want to do that through the lab they had they sold the right to you know, big companies, which I'm not allowed to talk about it is. They, they're working yes, on yes, the yes. Uh, technology to test it on a, a handheld uh, thing. And so uh, almost like a, yes. like a breathalyzer yeah, or like, a, yeah. like a, when they pick your finger for a yeah, trichometer yeah. kind yeah, of so thing. Yeah, so I, I yeah. had the, the right saw Africa and the, the mid, uh, mid East. Right. Yeah, in a couple of months and everything was in place. And unfortunately, one of the companies that bought it, that was a French one, Yes. They actually said, no, I can't use it, even though it's on the, the lab. Yes. Because um, they want to use it. They were still, the tech, the technology was still being grown uh, in, the, in the handhold 
uh, machine. Okay. Um, and that's a pity, but hopefully that ne- uh, uh, technology is is going to come through at some time where the, the ideas that guys can do next to a field. Once they think, okay, oh, they think you've yes, got like, a test right. and immediately they like, say, okay, sorry, you've got a contraction. You've got these indicators and... Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. So the problem is once... But people don't know a, con- a concussion is the same if you if you scratch your knee. Right. It's the same now. You've, you've got blood in your uh, uh, in your brain. So now what happened is, after a time, if you've got too many con- concussions, that becomes like a roof. A roof. It becomes hard. Oh, okay. Right. And then like think uh, um, in, pro- in pro- uh, protein when you put uh, uh, egg in a pan. Yes. When it goes hard. Now yes. that that blood. That protein opens up like a, uh, like a, what do you call those things again on a, a building, uh, what you, against the building, uh, uh, what's the word we need? It goes around a, around a uh, building. Scaffold? Yeah, something like that. But right. It goes around the brain and it goes just to your, your, your brain and it sits around it. Oh, so man. when you come old, you, uh, that's when you guys, a lot of guys, you know, start to forget and they, they, that the, the good part of your brains. You know, uh, that, that's what this, this movie is about from concussion. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. The world's worst one. a big one, problem. Yeah. yeah. I was a lot more, uh, I guess, uh, clever about it before the stroke, when I could speak. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, no. That's... Now, talking about the stroke, um, something that you said there that I picked up, and you said your daughter helped you a lot with your recovery. Uh, so you got just the one daughter? No, I got two. All right, all right. She's the two. elder one now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's in uh, Greenwood Prep, right. uh, Layla. Yeah. Um, she's now 11. Oh, um, yeah. And the other one is, she's in grade, uh, she's 8, she's in grade 3. Okay, okay. Um, oh, sorry, grade, grade 2. Grade 2, yeah, right, yeah. sure, sure. Um, yeah, but say uh, she's a clever little thing. So she's like, but, <laughs> but she, you know, she's like, she's a, a, teen, a teenager now. So oh, she's, she's, getting, like, like, she's getting into like that. Daddy, I'm, I'm looking for that word. And it's like, yeah. Because I live, Lou, I live on Google. Okay. And Google Translate. You know, I live on that. You know, so because I still, it's in there. Right. But right, I right. need to something to remember. Okay, that's the word. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I had to, I had to hustle to get a, a word. Okay. For, Just search for it. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah like, I've got to like. I don't want to tell the story. Oh, I, I got one food, but you know, some people won't maybe like like it. But for instance, I. I had to get it. the word for uh, freak. I, like I'm sitting now, I'm looking for the word freak, but I, don't, I can't get the word. <laughs> you have to give yeah, us the context. Yeah. So the, but now I remember, <laughs> yeah. okay, there was uh, a guy that had a, a song uh, about uh, uh, freak, but I like, I don't want to say the whole name about it, but his name was uh, Madison Manro. He had a song, but I can't remember his name. Okay. But I remember he did uh, seven, uh, seven C's, and I remember I can't remember now, so, okay, so but Annie, Annie Lennox. So oh, I went and I got his name and I didn't get to him, so I did a whole thing. So, okay, that's how I got it. So you're saying that like the technology that's in your phone, right? Google and Google mm. Translate. Literally, you, you're using that now. I don't know how 20 years ago, I don't know, people got a face here. I don't know how they, how, how would they have, how, how would they have done this? You know what they I'm would saying? have to do it manually, I suppose. They would need like literal like written or like books. Yeah, or. yeah for even get a word of God, I like, you know, like I say, I hustle, and I'm like, what do you call the world, the word to do this, 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 and then you, you finally, you find it that sometimes you get it. And Shut I don't know. And but now it's literally as easy as going, oh, I yeah. think, and you take your phone out and you say, Google. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, amazing, okay, that's yeah. how, enough about me. Let's talk about a car. Let's talk about a car, Alma. <laughs> how's, how's the ride? Yeah, you're feeling it. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, yes, I love the, the master. I grew right. up. Grew up with a Mazda 3, 3 to 3. I don't know if you remember. Oh, that, I remember the That's when I grew up with. Yes. Yeah. I had a mid. I had a mid. A mid was actually my very first car. My, and my first, my first first car that I bought self as well for twelve thousand rand. Yeah. Was a, a Mazda 3 to 3. Yeah, the 3 yeah. to 3. And I think there was a Ford Laser that should look similar to the 3 yeah. to 3. Oh, okay. But now, so the, after the 3 to 3, I now, now you got me. Now, now I have to ask about now. Yes, ask. So where did you go? Are you a car? Do you consider yourself a car person? Or you? Um, not really. I've got, uh, actually, right. two years ago already, um, you know, I, I bought a, it's funny that uh, this is now for uh, C- CHM. Yeah. Um, I bought my Ford uh, Everest. I bought it from them as well. Right. So, um, right. so yeah, but uh, for me, yeah, 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 for, for, for Get that. the lights around. Yeah, but I do, I like, you know, I, I, 
at, at least you know you must you must like what you're driving. You know, so <laughs> yeah, sure. With that. But you're not um, passionate though. You don't get uh... Yeah, to be fair, like if I if I'm rich, I won't be buying, let's say, a Ferrari or something. Probably I won't do that um, at all. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it, but <laughs> I just I won't, I won't I won't do that. Yeah, this is but my a nice car's a nice car. You know what I'm saying? And this is a nice car. That is very nice. <laughs> so I love the. If you go check on the website, the. Yeah. The master free, right. the one I saw this one as well here with the the master the master free with the the red seats. Oh, the, the, man, oh I'm in love with that thing. The detail yeah, inside it. There. <laughs> that and one the got you. Brew that is your heart's nice. <laughs> but that, that that is just, yeah very nice. No, I like it. I like it. Now as we get closer now back to the time now, like we've taken you a bit out of your rhythm. Um, so you're gonna have your fight today. This is part of the SA Champs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is, this is like a one-off event, or is it like a circuit that you go through? Yeah, you because you have to. Uh, there's a couple. Of the, uh, you have to do a round, and then a semi, and then a final. So like this is today uh, is a semi. Okay. Um, and yeah, so from here you can go. There's the Africans, and then there's a world as well. Okay, so the guys will graduate from here and now yeah. possibly go into other competitions. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, but uh, thank you for taking time yeah, out. I, well, I thought this was going to be like, because I heard you like the James Gordon. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was going to be like carpool. Hey, if you uh, want to sing a song, I'm down for it. Like, <laughs> we can do a duet. Let's, let's, let's just do uh, it. Like, I'm, I wasn't planning on it, but I'm always ready. No, 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 no. No, but um, so now as we get back closer to it, I'm going to drop you off now. So this is so amazing that we're having this conversation and you're talking to me about you academic background and your rugby days and how well traveled you are when you tell me the team that you played for yeah I'm like, well I'm, I'm lucky well from from rugby and that's what yeah. that's what rugby does for you you know and, and, yeah. and that's the one thing that I realized again yeah because this the essays is here in Durban right. there's probably a lot of boys let's say from Joe because they don't have they don't have the money to come to the essays you know oh, okay. just they don't yeah, have the funds yeah, yeah. we in rugby we spoil they pick you up and take like you where you need to go. Nine, yes. yeah, like, my travels come from rugby paying for it. You know, and yes. even still now that I'm not a pro anymore, guys can pay me to ask him Bermuda for the Legends or Dubai. There's guys who play yeah. So we are, as rugby players, we are spoiled. Um, but you must just say, say thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, the one yeah. thing. Uh, You're grateful for that. I'm blessed from that very much. Um, and that's all you have to do is just give up your body for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yeah. And, no. And, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's that's the one thing that I would say. And, and you know, rugby has given me everything that I had, and, and I'm, it's great. Give and that's why I always try and give back as well. Uh, you know, as much sure. as that you can. And now you, we got you. You cultured, been around the world, had yeah. such a great yeah. conversation, speaking about. You know, just and now you're gonna go beat someone up. <laughs> like right now, after all that, you just go lay hands on yeah. someone. <laughs> well, I've got a process, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you, you have to be uh, violent in it. Um, but it's like yeah, any, it's it's any contact with, like I said, it's a rugby, you know, it's, a, it's the same thing. Yeah. And in the center of it, after that, you know, you must be gentlemen, uh, gentlemen and, and you know, oh, you win, nice, win along. Uh, or win or, or, or but, lose. but if you think about it, right? That gladiatorial spirit has been mm. around since the PCs. Like we've been doing this. 100%. This is not an uh, unusual thing, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a, and it's a, a battle. And, and what's better than that? You know, what is better than that? Oh, man. And now we're here at the scene. We're here at the, at the Mazda. I'm going to take you right up to. No, tell the people they must come have a look at this master free. No, the one with the, uh, with the, with the yeah, I'm in love with that thing. <laughs> oh, you're making me feel bad now. It's nicer than my one, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Can look at that with a with a, with a black uh, uh, wheels. Yes, no, that's nice. That, that that's you, you. You falling in love. You see, you were, just now you were saying, oh, I'm not really a car guy, but now you're like, yo, that master yeah, three is beautiful. Nice, <laughs> nice, <yeah. laughs> nice is nice. I'm only looking. <laughs> You're not fighting here in the jumping class, okay? Say again? You're not fighting here in the jumping class. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 this is where the kid is. <laughs> uh, but thanks again for your time and uh, looking forward to um, seeing you again. Yeah, thank we you so much. We will definitely meet up with you again, man. I want to catch up with you. And your story, like, you know, when I met you, it was from the perspective of, like, yo, we're going to talk about MMA stuff, but your story has been very inspirational, man. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you so That's much for idea. sharing with us. And uh, well, I'm looking forward to it once you've got your uh, late night. Uh, 
uh, show, and then then we'll do it again. We'll come back and sing with you. No, yeah, you have to come with you. Yeah, yours when you have yours on. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We're going to do it. And I'm definitely going to watch of your stand up. I'm definitely going to watch. Hey, you should that. do that. No, I don't listen. <laughs> Just, but I'm not going to sit in the front. So you <laughs> can definitely sit in the back. So you, you don't, you don't want to answer. <laughs> Ah, anyway. thank, you, thank you again so right, much. Neil, thank you so much, my man. Definitely yeah. a pleasure. Cheers, man. Keep well.